25% of people who get COVID-19 never show any symptoms. And now scientists think that percentage could be even higher. I spoke to an epidemiologist about this. Asymptomatic is people that have no symptoms at all, that even though they got tested, they never uh, develop any symptoms associated with the disease. So when we talk about that 25%, if we're counting right, that means people who never show any symptoms. Exactly. If it's uh, the 25% asymptomatic, it's never had shown symptoms. For example, Iceland uh, did, did uh, Iceland did a uh, testing, a random testing of 9,000 people within the population that were not in quarantine and never had symptoms at the at the time of the testing, and uh, one percent uh, got a positive result. That that will be like 90 people, and from that 90 people, half of them. Uh, in the follow-up said that they never, never got uh, any symptoms. So what do you have to say about the danger of that? Well, one of the things is that when you don't know if you're sick, you might try to act like if you are uh, healthy. Therefore, you may start to doing other stuff that you might avoid when you know that you have COVID or any other flu-like uh, disease, for example. If you think you're healthy, you might say, okay, it's not a big deal if I go to visit this friend, this neighbor, this family. And you think, okay, because I'm healthy, I don't have to use a face mask, or I don't have to be uh, having paper towel to, if I need to sneeze or cough. And you might not use the proper hygiene uh, for cleaning your house or cleaning your clothing or cleaning any other part where you are. You might be also began to gather with more people without distancing physically. So you can become a spreader be, if you don't know that. And what we are telling people, act like, like if you are a person that has COVID, what that means, you will avoid large gatherings. If you are in lockdown, you will be uh, abiding to that lockdown. If you have to go to work, you will have to use your face mask. You will have to have a distance between your colleagues. You might not be hugging, touching, or using other people's stuff. And, and you will have to have some sort of distancing so you can protect you and protect others. The people who don't develop symptoms, do they still develop the antibodies that protect them from maybe getting infected again? Well, one of the things that currently we are trying to determine if, if having been exposed to COVID-19 confers you a long time immunity or if it's temporary. Uh, because we have seen cases of possible reinfection or reactivation of the virus. So I guess the answer is that even if you don't develop symptoms, you do develop antibodies. The question is whether that protects you from getting infected again. Exactly, exactly.